Accused child molester Frank Fuster will have more to deal with than just sexual abuse charges tomorrow. The attorney for the Country Walk defendant is accusing Fuster of assaulting him in jail last week. Lawyer Jeffrey Samick will again ask Judge Robert Newman for permission to be taken off the case. In court today, Samick complained that Fuster just won't cooperate. His pleasure with me is um, of legion and of record. And also his repeated failures to follow my advice are also legion and of record. News 4 has learned from court sources that an emergency hearing tomorrow, Samick will reveal the specifics about the assault and use it to convince the judge he must quit. But Judge Newman has already rejected two similar requests by both Samick and Fooster, the former director of the Country Walk Babysitting Service. Fireworks in the Country Walk child abuse trial today. This time, those accusations were coming from the defendant, Frank Fooster's attorney. As we told you last week, Fooster's lawyer, Jeffrey Samick, told the court his client is verbally and physically threatened him. And today, for the third time in three weeks, Samick asked to be taken off the case. But again today, that request was denied. I just made a statement. I'm not going to accept any reply from you. I'm ready to proceed. Mr. Sam will do the best he possibly do under the circumstances to represent you. It's not fair that, the, that my uh, attorney makes all this false allegation without giving the defendant a chance to reply, Your Honor. I must, I must state for the record what is the truth because my attorney has just made a, a whole bunch of false allegations. I only need a few minutes of your time to clear myself. Well, please. it's not a matter of clearing yourself because I, I'm still, uh, I have not granted his motion to withdraw as representing you. They're now in the third week of jury selection. Their pre-trial apparently made it very difficult to seat a jury in Miami. There are more fireworks this afternoon in the Country Walk sex abuse case. This time, defendant Frank Fooster's accuser is his own lawyer. News 4's Tim Minton is live at the Metro Justice Building, where jury selection in that case was interrupted again. Tim? Well, Robin, we told you last night at 6 that there was an assault last Thursday at the Dade County Jail. The assaulter was Frank Fooster, and the person assaulted was his lawyer. So, for the second time today, Frank Fooster found himself in the middle, getting heat from both sides of the case. And for the third time in the case, lawyer Jeff Jeffrey Samick sharply told the judge that he wants out. He has assaulted me. He has threatened physical harm. I cannot advise him. I will not talk to him. I will not visit him. I will not sit at the same table with him. The reason why I do not trust Mr. Samick is not because, because of anything other than the lies that he's coming to tell you. If my own attorney comes here and tell you, this man physically uh, abused me, uh, verbally abused me, and I know that that's not true, how can I trust him? I'm not gonna sit close enough to him at trial to whisper to, for conferences at trial, because I'm afraid he's gonna stick his hands around my neck and strangle me. It's a free country, and I guess this shows how free it is when a client can go against his attorney's advice. And that's what he's doing. But no, I'm not gonna remove you, and I'm going to trial. The case will go to trial with extra security. You can see the security guard standing up behind Frank Fooster, and that's the first time in this case that we've seen anything like that. The idea is to prevent harm, apparently, to Fooster's lawyer, Jeffrey Samick. In the meantime, we have had an unconfirmed report here that five jurors out of the six have now been seated in that case, and we're going to try to check that. Robin? Tim, why can't Samick get off this case? Well, the judge has to decide whether what is happening is being deliberately provoked by Frank Fooster in an effort to delay the trial or whether there is a serious threat to his being effectively represented by Jeffrey Samick. The determination this morning is that Jeff Samick can still effectively represent him. Robin. Jim. Thank you, Tim. Country Walk child abuse case for the third time this month, defendant Frank Fooster's attorney asking to be taken off that case. Jeffrey Samick telling the court Fooster does not trust him, will not take his advice, and has threatened him both verbally and physically. Fooster denying those charges, the judge refused to remove Samick. Meantime, jury selection was completed just a short time ago. Fooster is charged with sexually abusing children at the Country Walk babysitting service.